how to draw and shade drapery with plain old graphite pencil on white drawing paper. So this is a really great beginner drawing project because it forces you to break down the subject into really super simple shapes that really anybody can draw. So before I do this project with my students, we have already practiced seeing and creating value with really super, super simple shapes. So they have really built up their confidence. Uh, and then we move on to something small. Also, the subject matter really doesn't matter. That contains transitions of values. So they're learning how to get their values to fade from dark to light. Let's go to the drawing and I will show you step by step things that students struggle with to get over those humps, things to look out for, things to avoid, proper technique, and how to create an awesome drapery drawing. So we're gonna begin with a really light pencil sketch. When you do your sketch, you wanna sketch out just the larger shapes within the image. So you're looking at the shapes created by the shadows and the folds. Then you're gonna add the shading, and when you do your shading, you're gonna start with the darker areas first. So I'm looking at the larger shapes and the darkest areas. I'm adding a little bit of pressure with a super sharp point. And Notice I'm, I'm fading out the lines in my sketch. You don't want any outlines in your drawing. You're defining your edges with values or lightness or darkness of gray. I'm using super short circular strokes, light, light pressure, and notice that my values look a little sketchy at first. It's not going to look perfect in the beginning. In order to get rid of the sketchiness, we are not gonna use our finger, we're not gonna smudge, we're not gonna use a smudge tool. We're going to layer more graphite very lightly in order to build up our darks. So right now I'm bouncing around the drawing. I'm not getting any one area of the drawing super detailed. I'm forcing myself to look all over and make sure, number one, that my drawing is accurate, and number two, that all of my shapes are locked in and in the right spot. So there I just grabbed a darker pencil, so a B pencil. So I was using an HB, which would be the same as a number two, and now I jumped to a 2B. So let's take a look at some of the edges. So this edge over here, it starts as a crisp edge down where the fabric folds and then kind of along the side where it curves in over here it's more of a softer like blending edge it's not quite as hard so you want to look at those edges when you're drawing your drapery because over here the one that i'm working on see how it is a much crisper harder edge but then right above the top there where i'm working now that area kind of fades very gently and, and is not quite as crisp so these are just a couple things you're thinking about as you're working. I'm building up my layers here. Notice those sketchy lines. I'm being very careful not to go too dark, but those sketchy lines are starting to kind of fade out as I layer lightly with a sharp point, not a lot of pressure, and it takes a lot more layers than you think. Remember, this video is really sped up, and I'm cutting it so you can see it happen from start to finish, but there's really a lot, a lot of layers before the drawing smooths itself out. So here I'm, I'm looking very, very closely at the edges and the details, and I'm starting to focus in on some of the smaller parts because I have the, the basic big shapes and the values already mapped out. Now what I'm doing is I'm looking at the edges, I'm looking super, super close at the reference photo, I'm starting to layer more and get my values to, to fade and become a little bit more smooth. You can also spin your paper to get a better angle, so it was easier for me to get that crisp edge when I spun my paper around rather than have to turn my wrist, so that's something to think about as well. Now we're getting towards the end of the drawing and you'll notice I am really at this stage kind of refining, but more importantly, I'm comparing parts of the drawing to each other. So I'm looking at my shapes and I'm saying, this is my darkest shape, where is my other darkest shape? And I'm making sure they're similar. Then I'm finding another shape. So for example, this left side that I'm working over here, I'm going to compare it to another part of my drawing. I'm gonna look around and say, are there any other values that match this value? 
So this value up here at the top, I saw when I compared it to the value at the bottom, they needed to match. So that top value needed a little bit more attention. So as you can see, the drawing comes together really at the end. As long as you get your bigger shapes in first, bounce around your drawing, build your values in layers, and get your details at the end with a nice sharp point. Keep an eye on those edges and you're going to do great. Enjoy the project.